In our rapidly evolving digital era, you likely encounter the term antivirus. Whether it's a pop-up notification on your computer, advice from a tech-savvy friend, or a mention at a tech store, it's a concept that's hard to miss. But let's unravel this mystery. What exactly is an antivirus? Why is it so essential for our digital devices? And how does it come to our rescue? Think of it this way. Our bodies have an immune system to fend off viruses and bacteria. Similarly, computers and digital devices need a shield against harmful software, which we often call malware. This is where antivirus comes into play. It's software specifically designed to detect, halt, and remove these malicious invaders from our devices. Looking back a bit, nowadays we're mainly worried about complex online threats. But the idea of an antivirus isn't new. In the late 1980s, as personal computers began finding their way into homes, the first computer viruses appeared. Unlike today's threats, these early viruses were mostly pranks by curious programmers. They weren't always malicious, but they were certainly disruptive. Seeing the potential chaos they could cause, invaders started crafting the earliest antivirus solutions. And these were the foundation for the advanced tools we rely on today. So we tossed around the term malware a bit, but what is it? Essentially, malware is any program that's introduced into a device with harmful intentions. It can be viruses that launch onto legitimate files and spread mischief or spyware that operates behind the scenes, monitoring your every digital move. Now, you might ask, what drives someone to create such harmful software? The motivators are huge, some seek financial gains, like those behind ransomware attacks, where victims have to pay to get access to their data. Some may want to use your computers to send spam or mine cryptocurrency. And then there's a group that just enjoys the chaos, making malware just for the fun of causing trouble. The hat is an antivirus stand guard for us. At its foundation, it's always on the lookout, running discreetly in the background. It checks every file, contrasting them with a big database of known threats. If it finds a match, the file is flagged. But the antivirus isn't just looking for familiar faces, it's also on the hunt for new ones. If a file acts suspiciously, similar to known malware, it's quickly isolated. Now, I know what some might be thinking. I've just bought a brand new device. It's probably secure, right? It's a logical thought. Modern gadgets often come armed with basic security defenses. But, and this is very important, they aren't always enough. Cyber threats are always evolving, always trying to be one step ahead. That's why we need antivirus on our side. Always updated, always alert, and always ready to shield our digital lives. With this foundation laid down, you're ready to venture deeper into the world of digital protection. Up next, we'll explore how different antivirus solutions stack up against each other and how to pick the right one for your needs. Diving deeper into our journey of understanding antivirus solutions, we encounter a large sea of options each one promising optimal protection, faster performance, and a bunch of features. It's easy to get overwhelmed, so let's make this clear together and see how to pick the best antivirus for you. Firstly, it's essential to note that not all antivirus software is created equal. Think of them as the different superheroes in a comic book universe. They all aim to save the day, but each has a unique power and approach. Some antivirus programs specialize in detecting phishing sites, while others might excel in fending off ransomware attacks. And then there are the all-rounders, striving to offer a balanced protection package. The key, however, lies in understanding your specific needs. For instance, if you're someone who loves to shop online, an antivirus that focuses on detecting fake e-commerce platforms would be ideal. Similarly, for those who store crucial businesses documents or personal memories on their computers, a software that's exceptional against ransomware should be a priority. Additionally, consider the devices you use. While most of us immediately think of our computers when we talk about antivirus, let's not forget our smartphones and tablets. The digital threats aren't exclusive to our laptops or desktops. Many antivirus solutions now offer multi-device packages, making sure all your tech stuff stays protected. How easy it is to use is really important. We don't want something so complicated that it feels like you need a PhD to navigate this dashboard. The interface should be intuitive, guiding both the tech savvy and tech beginner effortlessly. Regular updates are another aspect to watch out for. The digital world is always evolving and so are the threats. 
your antivirus software should be flexible, adapting to the latest dangers and ensuring your defenses are always up to date. But here's something we often miss. Customer support. Imagine facing a security alert at 2 a.m. Wouldn't it be reassuring to know there's a helpline you can call or a chat support to guide you through? So it's always a good idea to choose an antivirus with strong customer support. Lastly, while it's tempting to gravitate towards free antivirus solutions, and many of them do offer basic protection, it's often worth investing in a premium version. Not only do these come with a wider array of features, but they also often offer a more comprehensive defense mechanism. To sum it up, picking the right antivirus is like finding the best armor for your computer. It might seem tough at first, but once you know what you need, you're on the right track to making your computer safe. With a firmer grasp on what antivirus software is and how to choose the right one, it's time to explore the magic behind the curtain. How does antivirus really do its thing? And why do we keep updating it? Let's dive deep and see how these protectors really work. So basically, an antivirus is like a watchful guard that's always checking your computer for bad stuff. Think of it like a librarian who knows every book. If a random book or virus tries to get in, the librarian or antivirus spots it and deals with it. This recognition primarily occurs in two ways. One method is through signature-based detection. Viruses, much like humans, have unique signatures. When a piece of software tries to enter your system, the antivirus checks it against a large database of known malware signatures. If there's a match, it flags or quarantines the file, keeping your system safe. However, as cyber threats evolve, solely relying on signatures isn't enough. That's where behavioral-based detection steps in. Instead of just looking for known faces, the software observes how a file behaves. Does it try to access a large number of files quickly? Is it attempting to hide its presence or modify system settings? If something acts weird, it might be up to no good prompting the antivirus to take action. But why the constant updates? It's because the world of cyber threats is a continuously shifting battlefield. New malware emerges daily and old ones change to get past our defenses. Every update arms our antivirus with knowledge about these new threats, making sure it's always prepared. That said, it's not just about defense. Modern antivirus solutions often come packed with a range of other tools. From firewalls to shield you from unauthorized access to optimization tools and turn your devices run smoothly. Today's antivirus aims to be a comprehensive guardian. Finally, while it's crucial to trust your antivirus, remember it's a tool in a border security toolkit. Regularly back up your data, be cautious of unfamiliar email attachments, and always keep your software updated. If you're smart about it, and have a good antivirus is just like building a super strong wall around your computer. In this digital age, where so much of our lives and memories are stored, in bytes and pixels, making sure they're safe is super important. Antivirus software, while not a silver bullet, is still a really important way to guard against the always present dangers of the online world. By getting how it works and picking the best one for us, we can use our devices without stressing out. By the way, I put in the description area below the best antiviruses on the market. So feel free to check those out. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you found this video helpful or if you'd like to stay up to date with future videos. We'll see you guys in the next one.